I hope you can hear me with all the, the wind out here. It's actually a gorgeous, gorgeous summer morning. Um, been doing some reviews out here today, and I've worked out quite an appetite. So today, I'm going to try the Alpine Air Mountain Chili. And uh, I love chili, so I hope this one really delivers. I'm going to cook it up and let you know. Okay. I filled up two cups of water in my little Esbit pot here. I'm going to start this up, and we got to get that water to boil. Pretty loud, huh? All right, so while the water is boiling, I'm gonna have a seat here. So, it says that mountain chili is a savory blend of pinto beans, vegetable protein, freeze-dried corn, mushrooms, bell peppers, and select spices. Let's see, it says that there's two servings per container, 270 calories, two grams of fat, 590 milligrams of sodium, 47 grams of carbohydrates, and 21 grams of protein. Looks like a, a pretty hearty meal. Um, considering that you just add water, it says open pouch, remove oxygen absorber, prepare in pouch or other suitable container, add two cups of boiling water, stir thoroughly, then seal pouch, and let it stand for 10 to 12 minutes. So, hopefully that water will boil soon, and we'll, uh, have us some chili. Okay, looks like water's boiling. So this is what it looks like beforehand. Just so you have an idea, I've taken out the oxygen absorber. And, uh, oh yeah, it's a rolling boil. Definitely good. Let me dump it in there. I'm going to go get a spoon and stir this up. Okay, we're going to wait 10 to 12 minutes. Close it up and let it do its thing. Well, it's been about 12 minutes, so let's do the reveal here. Thing. That's what it looks like right there. So you get a good look at it. It smells really good actually. But it's all about the taste. It's still nice and warm. I had quite a bit of water there. I thought that it was going to be um, a little bit soupy, but it absorbed that all pretty well. Get a close up. That's what it looks like right there. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the corn gives good flavor. It's not, uh, it's not spicy at all, so for me I could have brought some hot sauce or something and added it in there, but I see why they didn't do it that way. Um, texture is pretty good. I mean, it's not quite like homemade chili, but it's it's good. There's enough beans. There's enough meat. Seems like there's a little bit of everything in every bite. So, oh, some mushrooms in there too, I think. All in all, I'd say. It's a win. Now remember, this isn't like homemade chili. This is something you can take with you on the trail if you're on a multi-day trip and cooks right in the bag so you have no messy cleanup after. All you gotta do is boil water. So that's a home run in my opinion. I'd say, uh, you know, I'd give it probably an eight out of 10. It's not the best tasting chili I've ever had for sure, but it's, it's definitely reasonable. And you know what? I would definitely have this again. 
I found the Alpine Air Mountain Chili to be a hearty and tasty meal in a compact, freeze-dried form. Cooking and cleanup are a breeze, and its blend of beans, corn, mushrooms, and spices did hit the mark on this vegetarian chili. The texture was good and was full of flavor. Make sure to mix the contents very well, otherwise some bites will be somewhat bland and others will be super spicy. Turn this meal into tacos with some soft tortillas, or you can even combine with some rice and chopped veggies to form a burrito. Thanks again for watching. Please click the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care till then.